Welcome to Balances.com and Scaleman. We're Precision Way and Balances. We're an authorized MyWay dealer. And today we're going to be showing you the MyWay Palm 7.0. And this is the 200 gram version. So this scale you can see is has a weighing capacity of 200 grams. And it goes to two decimal places. So 0 0.01. You'll see the scale increment. And it goes... 0 0.01, 0 0.02, 0 0.03. We made a video on the Palm 7, and that unit there was 700 grams, but it only went to a tenth of a gram. So the scales look identical, features pretty much are identical, but the difference is this is lower weighing capacity. It only goes to 200 grams, and this scale has 10 times the resolution, so it goes to 0 0.01. If you need higher weighing capacity, then you probably want the PS7, which is 700 grams. So you get a, a lot more weighing capacity, triple almost, or greater than, more than three times the amount. But you would only have a tenth of a gram. So that's the difference. So I want to show you some of the features of this scale. Um, the scale shows right now we have a gold chain on it. And basically it has the unit weight. And it weighs 10.7 grams. And one of the reasons why I kept on tapping on this scale, you'll see it's going to shut off. The scale has an auto shut off feature. And this is to conserve batteries. So basically out of the box, if, this, if the weight doesn't change within 30 seconds, the scale will shut off. So I'm going to show you how to change that in this video here. Basically what you want to do is you want to turn on the scale. And when you turn on the scale, we have two circles here. The outer circle is for changing the price. The inner circle is for the functions. So what you want to do is you want to press the left, hand, the left side in a circle. You press it down. And you'll see it says off one. And you want to be able to increment this. So if you press the mode button, you'll see off two, off three, and you're back to off one. So off one the scale will automatically shut off after 30 seconds. Off, off 2, the scale will shut off after 1 minute of no use. And off 3, the scale will shut off after 2 minutes of no use. Now to store it, you have to press the tear. The tear is on the inner circle, the right hand side. You press it, and now it's been stored. So, the scale shouldn't shut off. Hopefully uh, we'll have some weight on here and the weight will change within every two minutes so it won't shut off. So that's how to um, change the auto shut off feature. Now you cannot disable it. You only have those three choices. And again, the reason why the manufacturer set up the scale like this when they designed it is to save batteries. Now batteries, I want to show you. This is a real nice scale in regards to on the back of the scale this scale operates on two. These are the, the CR2032 batteries. These are the lithium batteries. The scale comes with two. If the scale ever, you know, dies on you battery-wise, you can go to any jeweler or you can go to Walmart or drugstores and they sell it. And basically, to replace the batteries, um, you can't really pull these out with your fingernails. So I use like a small screwdriver. And basically, you have to... Uh, just pop it out, okay? And the batteries can be replaced very easily. The batteries, always the positive side is going to be pointing up. So you notice the battery says plus, plus. So the plus side is always up. And then we need to just put on our battery cover, just slides right on. In, we're back in service. The scale power is right up. So I want to cover a couple of the features. Again, we've already made one video um, on the Palm PS7, the 700 gram version. This is the 200, but I'm just going to cover these uh, features kind of quick. So the scale comes with a cover that's removable. So you can remove it. On the back of the cover, you'll see there are two pieces of metal, or this is the magnet. I don't know which way, but anyways, the cover stays on. It's magnetized. On the back of the cover are all the instructions for you to see how to operate the scale. So if you lose the little manual that comes with it, um, everything's right there for you. The 
cover doubles as a tray. And one could use this tray, say if they had a larger piece to weigh. And again, uh, if I wanted to weigh, we'll say, this chain right here, you'll see that this chain, it's, it's a mess. It's not going to fit on the scale. So, you could put on the cover that it spans as a tray. You'd want to tear it out. So the tear button is on the in, inner circle, right-hand side. You press it. So you just saw the tray weighs about 22 grams, and I press it, zero it out. So now with this expansion tray, I can put on the chain, and it shows me that the chain weighs um, 64.89 grams. And you know it's in grams because in the top left-hand corner, it says G. So let's talk about the weigh modes and how easy it is. Sometimes people are buying and selling gold in, uh, we'll say, uh, penny weight or troy ounces. So on this particular scale, you have seven different weigh modes. And to change it, you press the mode button, which is the top in a circle. So as I press this mode button right here, you're going to see the units up here change. So right now we're in grams. If we press it once, we're going to be in, it looks like, uh, grains. Like gun and ammo dyes would use that. And if we press it again, we're in quarter ounces. Some people I just buy by the quarter ounce. You press it again, you're in ounces. You press it again, and you're in one-eighth of an ounce. You press it again, we're in carrots now. And now we're in penny weight. And we're back to grams. Now, on the PS7 700 versus the PS7 200. Now, we're showing you the PS7 200 right now. This unit has grains versus the PS700 does not have grains. They change that with troy ounces. So, if you need troy ounces, you don't want to buy the scale because it doesn't have those weigh modes. So, again, just to change the weigh modes is very simple. Just press the mode button. And you go from grains to ounces to carrots to penny weight. Now, I just want to show you another neat feature about the scale. We have this scale set up in penny weight. If we were to shut off the scale, remove the platform, turn the scale back on, the scale will power up in the last weigh unit that was used. A lot of scales on the market default. They go back to grams. You'll notice when I power up the scale, I'm back into penny weight. So in penny weight, I could uh, weigh a chain, put it on, and this particular chain weighs 7.05 penny weight. If I want to change the weigh mode, again, just press that button. I'm in grams. In grams, I'm at 10 point nine sets grams now this outer circle here is for the price price per unit so we have an up arrow a double up arrow a single down arrow a double down arrow it's pretty basic but I'll just go over it the up arrow pressing it once increases it by a penny each time the double arrow will make it go up real fast you can see it climb up up and up and up okay the down arrow, press it, goes down by a penny. And the double arrow sends it down a lot faster. So you can see I have this scale set up right here. I put it for $2 per unit, and the unit is grams. So if I was selling this chain, we'll say, it'd be a great bargain. Selling it at $2 a gram, it weighs 10.6 grams. You would get $21.92. So again, you can also, uh, so that's a nice feature. So you have the weight at the top, the unit price to the left, and to the right is the dollar amount. Now if you wanted to store the value, so each time you don't have to, you know, change the price per unit, the scale has memory. So we'll just set this, let's go a little bit higher on the price. We'll set the price to... I don't know. Let's just hold it down and see where it goes. Oh, that looks good. $12 a gram. Looks great to me. If I don't want to press these buttons each time I power up the scale, I can store it in memory. So this lower in the inner circle, again, these are all your functions for the scale itself. Press the lower part of the circle, the M, and it will store it. So when I press it, you watch over here on the 
left hand side, that 12, you're going to see it stores it. And so it says, okay, it stores it. Now if I take the scale off, if I take the chain off, I shut the scale off. If I power up the scale, the scale will do its typical countdown. And you'll notice here, it's stored. We're selling this for $12 per unit. And the unit mode is grams right now. So I put my chain on. Now one thing, I always say per unit. If I change this, the way modes, by pressing the way mode button, in grains, grams, carrots, penny weight. We're in penny weight. You have to adjust your price each time. So this is now $12 per unit. The unit is penny weight. So you got to remember which way mode you're in. But again, this is a great scale for the money. So I'm going to put it back to grams. Uh, a couple more features I just want to cover with this scale. Uh, the scale, how to calibrate it, and also uh, the way guide that it has, or the way meter. So let's go over calibration. I didn't show you exactly how this scale comes. The scale comes packaged in a nice box. My way does a great job. PS7, advanced, 200 grams by 100th of a gram with their weigh meter technology. The back side of the scale shows basically the scale overview, the control keypad, and your display. In the fine print, it's going to show you all of the units and what it weighs to. The scale, when it's delivered, when you open up the box, take it out. My way does a spectacular job in packaging. You have your scale. You have the calibration weight. This is a 200 gram calibration weight. And then you have a cover. This is a little pouch that the scale can fit in. So my way gives you everything you need to operate this scale. So let's go over calibration kind of quick. So to calibrate the scale, you need a 200 gram weight that comes with the scale. Let's put on the 200 gram and see where the scale is. Okay, and it's saying that it's overload. This is a 200 gram weight, and it's saying, hey, I have too much weight. So that tells me that the scale needs to be calibrated because it weighs up to 200 grams. So to perform calibration, what we need to do to calibrate the scale is you put the 200 grams on. There should be nothing else on the platform. The platform should be teared, so if you press the tear button over here, it's already at zero, but we'll just say there was something on it. Press the tear button, you put on your 200 grams. Okay? You're going to press and hold the mode button down. When you press and hold the mode button down, you're going to see 200 flashes, and then it says pass. So the calibration has been completed. So now we have... 200 grams and the scale has been calibrated. So there was nothing wrong with the scale where we were getting an overload. It needed to be calibrated because you can see if I apply just a little bit of extra weight, boom, it's overload. And this is where I want to show you this, this weigh meter. If you look on the right hand side of the display, we have a weigh meter. It gives you an idea exactly where you are capacity wise on the scale. So if I take it off, you'll notice the weigh meter go up on the right hand side as I apply some weight it goes up 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 all the way so now we're at 200 and if we put too much weight on it we're going to get overload on the top this gives you an idea because if you put too much weight on the scale you'll ruin the load cell so this is the my way PS7 this is the 200 gram by a hundredth of a gram um, you'll notice here the scale did not go back to zero. We have a tear button over here. You can just tear it. And I don't know if I showed you this, but I want to go over it real quick. This is the PS7. My Way also puts out the My Way PS8. And the difference between the two scales is this has the PS7 that we're demonstrating right now has the removable or the tray, the, the cover, is magnetized and it comes off completely. On the PS8, which costs more money, it has this hydro hinge. If I press the button. There's a button on the side here. This is the hydro hinge. And to open the scale, the cover pops up like so. 
So the scales are really very similar. They do have different weighing capacities. They do cost more money. The functionality of the scale with the outer ring for price computing and the control of the scale and the inner ring are all the same. So I just want to show you the difference between the two scales. Uh, we're Precision Way and Balances and we're an authorized MyWay dealer. Visit us at either balances.com or scaleman.com.